L'chaim, l'chaim. Today, tonight, Yudalit Kislev, the Rebbe himself put into words the greatness of Yudalit Kislev. Please, if you, if you need to talk, there is a lot of space outside to talk. Please respect to the Rednel. To the speakers, you know, if you're here, we're here to forbang, it's the Rebbe's wedding, it's the Rebbe's anniversary, it's a very holy talk. Please, I cover to the Rebbe, please, if you need to speak, step outside the door and speak. The Rebbe himself put in words the greatness of Yudalit Kislev for Hasidim, for Klal Yisrael. There's no higher, no greater day for Hasidim as this day, Yudalit Kislev. I once heard, I think it was Rabbi Avram, Ayara, Allah Shalom, he said, once by a Fabrengen, Adank, the e the adank the eibishter from Rebbein, adank the Rebbein for the eibishter. In English, everybody understands, Mistame. Thank Hashem for giving us a Rebbe, and thank the Rebbe for giving us Hashem. What's the pshat from these words? So we all are Hasidim, and we all know what Alter Rebbe says in Perik Beis in Tanya. You would think the importance of a Rebbe belongs right away, smack the second Perik of Tanya. Maybe first we should learn about Hasidis, and then eventually we'll understand Right in the beginning of Tanya, the Alter Rebbe talks about what is a Rebbe. And if we learn this Perik Be'iyun, this very, very powerful Perik, we all know that there's a there are tayag mitzvahs, and be, and one of the mitzvahs in the minyan ha mitzvahs is uledafka boy. You should cleave on to Hashem. A peledikazach, every mitzvah, as as Alter Rebbe himself says, mitzvah comes from the word attachment. So every time a Yid does a mitzvah, he's attached to the Eibishter. So there's a separate mitzvah, all the dafka boy. What do I, I was doing that all the time? What's mitamal? A separate mitzvah. You could be Mekayim 612 mitzvahs, and you're still not dafka the Eibishter. This is Mamish Nigla. We're talking Nigla here. So, so what does the Gemara say? This is the very interesting. The Gemara says, what means Ladovka boy? So the Gemara answers, Hadvik betamide chachamim. Now let's listen for a moment. This we're talking about halacha. Allah is Mamish Hashem Imoy Allah. Come on, say this is Allah. This is no drush. This is Allah. It says in the Torah, Oledafka boy. And 
Gemara says it means Talm Hadvik with Tamida Chachamim. I don't understand what it says, but you're telling me Hadvik Tamida Chachamim. So the Alter Rebbe is Mazbir in Perik base that a Talmud Chachim doesn't mean Kipshuta is somebody who push it is a Talmud Chachem, knows a lot how to learn. But the Pshat Talmud Chachem means he's in the Madrege of Anishame Datsilis, of Chachme Datsilis. And that's what the Gemara means, the Hadvik with Talmud Chachemim, you have to connect to someone who is Anishame Datsilis, the Moshe Rabbeinu of the generation, he, in his neshama, shines. Ain't soif, like the, the Alter Rebbe brings in Tanya, Kobalti, Memoiri, that in the Madrega of Chachme Datsilis is Hu Levadoi Hu Vein Zulasri. So when you are Dovik to the Moshe Rabbeinu, to the Talmud Chacham, the person who has, he's at Madrega of Chachmed Atzilis, so your Dover can amazed in himself. But we still need clarification. What is the difference between Tzafsa V'chibor, which every mitzvah does, and yet it's possible Tzafsa you are, but you're not Dovuk. So what's the Pshat? So the pshat is pashit. Bishas, you say tzafsa, it's still two things, two entities. There's a mitzave and there's a mitzuva. And the mitzave, the mitzuva, by listening to the tzivui, he becomes attached, but it's two. Two entities that are attached. Bishas, the Torah uses the vekis. The vacus is, it's one, there's no two, there's no more two. It's the highest connection that you could have to the Abishta. You're no longer two separate Mitzvahs. And that, the Torah says, is only when you have his kashris to a Rebbe, who is the Moshe Rabbeinu of this door. So push it, what's the touch we have a Rebbe? Push it, the way the Alter Rebbe learns in Perek, Beis, and Tanya. The deepest connection to the Abishter is the Rebbe gives us this connection. And that is the Pshat of this that Hasidim say, Adank the Rebbe for the Ebishta, because through the Rebbe we have the deepest connection to the Ebishta that can be. There are Sikhs from the Fidik Rebbe, I'm sure many people know that the Fidik Rebbe many times says very powerful words. And he said once, it's printed in a sikhe, you should be mekusha to me, and through that you'll be mekusha to who I am mekusha. The Fidik Rebbe spelled it out clear. His kashchis to the Rebbe is his kashchis to the Ebishter. So there's nothing higher, there's nothing greater Yudalit Kislev is everything. That is our deepest Shaykh's connection to the Abishta. But together with this, I hope you don't mind if I bring this up, <laughs> because no one told me really what to say and how long I could talk. So as long as I have the Shaykh, I'm going to take the opportunity that we have a Rebbe, there's no question. But together with this, 
there's a tremendous responsibility, tremendous hischaivos. If this is our Rebbe, then we better shape up and we gotta, it should be nikra on us that we are mikusha to the Rebbe. I want to tell you a few stories and maybe this will help. My father, when a, he tells me to say l'chaim, that means stop talking, right? No, 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 no. 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 Continue talking about the l'chaim. Ay, kabal. Say the zach, okay. <laughs> so I want to tell you a few very powerful stories will give you an idea. My father-in-law, Oliver Shalom, his name was Rabbi Yitzchak Hendel. He was the Rosh Hashiva in Montreal. He was from the Shluchim, from the Friedrich Rebbe. In to Montreal, he was the Rav of Anash. He was uh, the Rav of the city. But he was a very Hasidic Shiid, of course. And he went, once went into the Rebbe. I would like everybody in all the Bachrim should listen and put away your cells and all your Mishagas and try to concentrate. Nobody has cell phones with us. No, it just looks like it. Anyways, so Akitza is, the, he was by the Rebbe and the Rebbe was talking about Lubavitcher Shechite. And the Rebbe said to him that Lubavitcher Shechite has to be that the Shochtim learn Hasidus. And the Rebbe explained that being that the Rambam Paskins, Ketzad Yovoy Lavosoy V'Yirosoy, how could you have Ave and Yire? You have to be Mizboinin, you have to, mis have, to have what to be Mizboinin? So the only way to have a, a shoichet has to have Yerushamayim. To have Yerushamayim, you have to learn Hasidus. So the Rebbe said that the shochtim have to be poil mamish people who are learning Hasidus. But here comes the punchline, and I hope that I'll knock your socks off if you'll hear what the Rebbe said. Are you ready or you're not ready? The Rebbe said, Lubavitch, it was called Lubavitch Shrite. So the Rebbe said, Lubavitch does made me mere. It's not an organization, a Lubavitch organization, a Lubavitch group, a Lubavitch a movement. The Rebbe said, Lubavitch made me mere. It's my name. In my name, to, I need to be sure that the Shachtim are going to learn Hasidus. But in the Kudu, from this powerful word, we are not the Zapisa Rebbe and the Hasidim. It's the Rebbe, the Rebbe's name. The Rebbe's Kodesh HaKadosh, any Bocha, any Hasid who can calls himself he's talking Rebbe. And he has a tremendous achrayas. How, how he acts, everything he does is a reflection on the Rebbe. Because he's, rep, he's, he's calling himself a, a Lubavitcher. Lubavitcher means the Rebbe. This is a tremendous achrayas that everything that we do has to be exactly how the Rebbe would want us to, li to live, what kind of Hanhaga, what kind of Yerushamayim, what kind of Achsidim, because we're playing Mamish, with, we represent the Rebbe's name. So a day like Yudalit, Kislev, is a day to make a cheshven, a nefesh, the schus is beyond, beyond, beyond. But together with this schus, 
I have to constantly remind myself that everything I do, I'm representing the Rebbe. So I want to tell you a few beautiful stories that is negated to this topic. I heard this from Rabbi Moshe Kotlowski at a convention or a small convention, but it's a beautiful story. There was a shliach somewhere, and you know, shluchim always have difficulties making ends meet to cover the ba bank or to cover the mortgage, cover the hin. It is always there uh, on all of a moisid. And he has a, a bala bus, and the bala bus tells him, probably he was smoking a cigar when he came in, and the bala bus tells him, listen here, I have a box at a ball game. Face is what kind of ball game? If it was a football, see a basketball, it's not no not come in. He has a box. A box means he has a spe he bought a special place, a front rows where you could see if the ball is moving this way. That means it's a very big yichus. And I have a special box, and I have my pals coming. And if you, I'm gonna invite you to this box, with this box, in the box, and you'll have an opportunity to meet my friends, people who you would never get it to see. Now you'll be in the same box, you'll say Shalom Aleichem, they'll be, it'll, it can help you tremendously. Okay, the Shliach Baruch Hashem, it's like, <laughs> not too common, but he had some seichel. And he's, he was thinking, it's a pasta, a shliach, a ball game, at the hashliach. So he wrote to the Rebbe, hello, listen to the story. This is very powerful. Now I should start all over again. He tells me I should not. Bottom line is, so the shliach writes into the Rebbe, and he writes like a optimistic guy that he has this special offer from this shli from this balabas. He's going to invite him in this box, and this is going to help him so much in in fundraising. And he asks the Rebbe, like, hey, should he go? So the Rebbe answers more or less. This was the, the answer. So the Rebbe is saying, are you, if you're asking me a shayla in aloche, if you're allowed to go, shayla lemoira ro, go ask a rov and, 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 and ask him. But if you're asking me my advice, you ready for this? Now hold on to your chairs and tables because you might fall off. Listen what the Rebbe tells him. I want to tell you something. I am not interested to attend that ball game. And if you are going, you're taking me along. You got it? This is such a powerful answer. A shliach and a every chassid has to realize he's taking the Rebbe with him. And therefore, he has a tremendous achrayis. This is not a, this is not Hefkevelt. A shliach and, and a, a, a bocha, he's representing the Rebbe. So don't schlep the Rebbe. Now you have a tremendous achayis. You could fabrain the whole Yudalit, kiss, live, and we'll dance, and we'll sing. We have a Rebbe. <laughs> you have a Rebbe, but like, uh, you better shape up. So I'll, I'll tell you a little story. The Friedrich Rebbe, when he lived in uh, Poland, one day the yeshiva, Tavichet Tamimim, was in a suburb of Vashe. It was called Atvotsk. And he made a spontaneous visit to Friedrich Rebbe to the yeshiva in Mincha time. So, as soon as the Friedrich Rebbe came, they started davening Mincha. By Mincha, they didn't say Tachnun. My father, Allah Shalom, was like the Manal in that time, in the yeshiva. 
So the Friedrich Rebbe turns to my father and asks, how come they didn't say Tachnun? You ready for this or not? Are you, is everybody listening? So how come you, they didn't say Tachnun? So the Rebbe, my father said, because the Rebbe is gekommen. So the Rebbe said, the Friedrich Rebbe, ah, the Rebbe is da, is a reason not to sin. But it's not a reason not to say Tachnun. You understand the power of these words? <laughs> yippee yay, yay the Rebbe's here. <laughs> the Rebbe's a Rebbe. But you better shape up. <laughs> Don't, you can't uh, lean, uh, lean on the Rebbe and you can do whatever you want. <laughs> All these Hegeshim is there's very good pills in the drugstore. It's for heartburn and Hegeshim. Darshri, Darshishi, this is all stupidity. Darshishi and Darshri. Teure doesn't change, Achsides doesn't change. Anyone who thinks that something changes is a big Rachmanis on him. Nothing changed. I could tell you if we'll have time later, if we'll forbring, I hope to share with you to knock this Stuss, clip is Stuss, to say now in Der Shvi, we don't have to do these things anymore. This is there's nothing further than the truth than to chas v'sholem say that now we, we could do different things. If I will share with you some things that I heard from the Rebbe or what I know from other people, you will fall out of your, I don't know what, that you'll see that nothing changed. Whatever, okay, so let's go. Let's go back. So I'm sharing with you some stories. There was a, 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 some kind of a Polish a chassid, exactly, I don't know who when, who was by the Friedrich Rebbe Zafalbrengen, and he uh, wanted a chap schreim. So the Friedrich Rebbe said, by uns is schreim mechayiv. Not just Mizake. You got the wrong religion here, Buster. Y you want to be connected to me, you got to shape up. This is not a free fall. So we, there's a lot, a lot of stories and a lot of inyanim that together with the moiradika holiness of this day and the tremendous simcha, together with this, it's mechay of us to really be chasidim. Like the Rebbe wants us to be chasidim. When my father was a bocha, and the Friedrich Rebbe sent him to be, believe it or not, he sent him a shlichis to go to learn in the Mirror Yeshiva. He was in Cognito. And he went there to make Hasidim. That's what the Friedrich Rebbe said. I'm sending you to make, bring Hasidim. And then the Friedrich Rebbe said, the vase we are so macht yenim far a Hasid, am is alain a Hasid. You have to be a living example of what means a Hasid. And that how you will act. That is how you're going to make as a chassid. Then he said another thing, I don't know if it was the same time or a different time, but it's very sharp. He said, Zeh, make sure you don't do any foolishness because all the foolishness will go on my name. But all the chachmas that you do is going to go on your name. So all these little stories and anecdotes is the achrayis, the schus, what means to be a Lubavitch a chassid, or what means a tomim, what the, this, there's a tremendous responsibility. It's not hefke petishke. So 
So the Ibishu should help us that we should use out this day. I recently heard a video. You'm sure I'm sure everyone heard this. Unbelievable. Chaf Cheshvin, a few Tovshin Men Beis, or Alepsa, there was recently a new video where the Rebbe was talking about Chaf Cheshvin. That the Rebbe Rashab, what he gives to Chsidim on that day. But then the Rebbe said shocking words that if you don't use out the day, the way you, you're supposed to, of what he gives us, koiches, you're making a bilbul, lemaila, you're making a bilbul for him. Because says Kfayochel that he's giving koiches and it wasn't not used. used. You dial it, kiss him, it's a moira de kadei. But we have to use it. We have to make hachlotis today to be Mamish getrai the Rebbe and to be Chaemis Chasidim. So let me sh finalize with this last thing and then I'll give over to our next speaker. I was once by the Rebbe and Yechidis when I was a younger boy and I wrote in the Tzetel by Yechidis an Eitze for his kashris to the Rebbe. And this is a mitzvah, lefasim, and I always try to do this because it's very negaya to every bocher that's here listening, those who are here, or those who are listening on, on, a, on the video. The Rebbe said the following words. The best his kashris. The Yemese his kashris. The Freilechsike his kashris. Is to be a Lamden Amiti Benigle de Teure. And a Lamden Amiti in Pnimi is a Teure. This is what the Rebbe said. Not what he could have said. He meant to say. A haggish pnimi, an indigestion, a haggish. This is what he said. He said, the best is kashris. The yemes is kashris. The freilichst is kashris is to be a land in a miti in nigle de teure, in a land in a miti in pnimi sa teure. So when it comes a day of your Dalit Kislev, a day of Eskashris where Avi Bacha wants to be Mekusha to the Rebbe, the Rebbe told us how to be Mekusha to him. The Rebbe warns that a Bacha should be Toirosoy Umnosoy. His whole life should be Toire. The Rebbe said by the Bracha warns Erev Yom Kippur, that he warns that Bachrim should call him teure. There were times in my years going back in the early 1800s when there was something going on in Crown Heights and the Rebbe heard that Bachrim are mixing into some kind of a politics in the community. He gave the Bachrim such a chalik. How do they even know? What's going on in the community? The whole in is supposed to be learning Torah. That is the skashris for a bocha. The biggest skashris is poshit to be a walking Torah, to be immersed in Torah, in ganzen in Torah. L'chaim, l'chaim. everyone should be.